statistical inference, we are bothered about two things. The first is the estimation. Estimation means how to present a variable. And the second concept is testing of hypothesis. Means how to find the relationship between them. Okay. So let's, as, as we see, we have two types of variable. Okay. Qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative and quantitative. So if your variable is qualitative, means it's a categorical variable. So we present the categorical variable with number and percentage or number with total number. And if it is quantitative variable, then we have so many measures. Okay. Like mean, median, mode, so many measures. This depends again on the distribution. It's follow the normal distribution or not. Or the category uh, means the type of the variable. Okay. It's qualitative or quantitative. Now you can ask like why? If there is a class. Okay. I will, will just uh, take an example. There is a class and in that class there are two students. Okay. One male, one female. And some another person comes and are interested to know the gender information and the weight okay and you are the class monitor and your responsibility to provide this information so what you will do you simply say okay he is male she is female his weight is this her weight is this this is what you will do. If there are five, then again it's possible. He, 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 she, she, or wait, wait, wait. But if there are 5,000 students, 5,000 a little too big, but 500 left. And your responsibility is to provide the gender information and the weight information of your class. And you are the captain. So how you will present it? And remember, the true information is the best information. Means whatever, if someone is male or female or whatever the weight they have, that is the best information you have. So how you will provide this information? Are you going to start from one, roll number one, he is male, weight is this, roll number two, he, she is female, weight is this, is it like that? Up to 500? With the percents. Okay, fine. The, 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 means, you can say the percentage, okay. Means, you, you can say, okay, 60% female, 40% male. But if you will say 60% female, 50% male, male, so 60 and 50, maybe it's 6 and 4. Maybe, maybe it is 600 and 400. Maybe it is 60 and 40. So whenever a variable is qualitative, now see, R, R, you are saying, if it is a quantitative variable, you will say, like, I will ask, okay, how, how, how much marks you obtain in 10th? So if I will ask how much marks you all obtain in 10th, what you will say? I get 90%, 92%, 98 that, that is what you will say. And the possibility is maybe you will not get 92% in any of the subject, 92 marks in any of the subject. Is it not possible? So even 92 marks, you are not getting any of the subject, but you are saying I get 92% marks. So what do you mean by 92% marks? See, I'm going in depth. This time it is not required, okay, because uh, we have the time limitations also and you also have the time limitation because your exam is near. But just for the, uh, the sake of clearing your concept. Okay, so for every, every situation, okay, there is a problem. And then there is a solution. Without problem, there is no solution. To understand your problem, that is the most important thing. 
when you involve in your research also understand your problem so the problem here is it become very difficult to explain the individual information of 500 sample then what so we start compromising okay we are ready to compromise now because it's difficult that thing so if we will say the male is 60% and female is 60% male is 40% this is not the individual information through this you are not able to identify that who is male and who uh, who is female but that is difficult to present that's why we compromise here and we present the same way i said okay my name is viswajit viswajit is a word a letters i am not that whatever your name is that is a word you are not that but why you are known by that your name same thing is here okay so how you are going to present your variable basically you are compromising with the information but the optimum solution is the best solution so in 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 bias statistics 2 plus 2 is not 4 2 plus 2 maybe 4.1 maybe 3.9 what is the optimum way possible that is our solution it's not the perfect solution but perfect with the situation Okay, so whenever you have a qualitative variable, we present the qualitative variable with the number and percentage, not just percentage. So whenever you are writing any paper and involve any paper, don't present just number or just percentage. Percentage is not sufficient. So always number with percentage, okay? And whenever it is quantitative variable or number with total number. So if you will present the total number also, that is fine. So one, one can calculate the percentage. On the basis of that and if it is quantitative variable then we use the mean so like i asked you what how much percentage you obtain so percentage is what basically the average okay so for quantitative variable we present the mean median or mode mode never we present but yes there are some major means <laughs>